Welcome back friends, it's Anders. Today, we're making a Singapore sling. Actually, I'm gonna make a couple of slings. The Singapore sling has been on countless tiki menus. However, the drink predates tiki. Kind of like the Queens Park Swizzle. We talked about that one. Do you remember, were you here for that? Check it out if you haven't. I actually think I was wearing this shirt for that episode. I like this shirt. The Singapore Sling, right. Gin-based cocktail, it's like a gin tiki. In fact, this was on one of the earliest tiki menus by Don the Beachcomber. He actually traveled to Singapore, found this cocktail, loved it, put it on his menu, and ever since then, people have associated it with tiki because it fits that template. Also, I will be using two gins, which are from Singapore to make my Singapore Slings, who happen to be sponsoring, that's right, sponsoring, this video, more about that later. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Let's go make a couple of Singapore slings to the bar. Every bartender makes a Singapore sling differently. And that's because none of us really know what goes in it. The story goes that this drink was created in 1915 at a bar called The Long Bar inside of Raffles Hotel in Singapore. Raffles Hotel was a posh, elegant hotel, absolutely beautiful, and anyone who was anyone would go there. Now, at the time, ladies couldn't drink in public, which is silly. Enter Nyam Tung Boon, who is a gentleman who created the Singapore Sling. The story is, he created a drink that looked like exotic fruit juices, so ladies could drink it in public and nobody would know and it was a hit. Now, the story is a little confusing because that same year, Nyam Tung Boon died in China. So if he died in 1915 and created this cocktail in 1915, he would have had to have made a lot of Singapore slings to become famous for it before he died. So a lot of people think that he actually created this drink much earlier, which I believe because there's proof that he worked at Raffles during the turn of the century. And back then there were other slings that were also popular. So chances are this cocktail was created earlier than 1915 and it was probably just a riff on the other slings. The real question is, what was in the drink? Because he was highly secretive. It's said that he kept it in a safe in his home so nobody else could see it. Fast forward over half a century later to the 1970s and somebody shows up with a cocktail napkin with a recipe for the Singapore sling and claimed it was written by Nyam Tung Boon himself. And that recipe had a lot of pineapple juice and grenadine in it, which also happened to be popular in cocktails in the 1970s. So I don't know, I'm skeptical, but a lot of people believe that is the true recipe. In fact, Raffles today serves that recipe at the hotel. I mean, who am I kidding? If I go to Singapore, I'm gonna go to Raffles and I'm going to have a Singapore sling, but I don't know what Nyam Tung Boon was really making. And I don't think any of us truly know. So today I'm gonna to show you two ways that I make the Singapore sling. The first is gonna have the pineapple juice and grenadine, kind of the version that a lot of people have come to know. And the second is a more slimmed down, fewer ingredients, but I bring up the flavors of the liqueurs and it's really good. I will show you both of them. You're welcome. Before we jump in, I want to thank today's sponsors, Tanglin Gin, Singapore's first gin distillery. Today, I'll be using the Singapore Gin, which is their latest expression, and their Navy Strength Black Powder Gin. I'll leave a link down below, and the first 25 people to use my link will get free shipping on these bottles, which is kind of a big deal. Shipping booze is not cheap. Moving on, now the booze. I'm going to do this one cocktail at a time. So the first one is gonna be my version of the Raffles Singapore Sling. For that, we are gonna need gin, Cherry liqueur, Benedictine, triple sec, pineapple and lime juice, grenadine, and bitters. Whew, it's that simple. You just have to have an entire liquor cabinet to make this one drink. That's it. The gin I'm using is Tanglin Singapore Gin. This gin is one of the softest gins I've ever had. It has notes of mandarin orange and lime. And in this cocktail, I think it's gonna marry really well with the orange liqueur, pineapple juice, the lime juice, the cherry liqueur. This is pretty important in the Singapore slang. At least I think so. It gives it a cherry sweetness, obviously, but cherry hearing has a deep red color, which gives it a slight pink hue. And then we've got the Benedictine, which is a sweet herbal liqueur. You get a little bit of orange from the orange liqueur. Fruit juice, fruit juice, kind of a sweet fruit from the grenadine. I mean, there's just everything in this cocktail. Let's build. As far as glassware, I'm serving this in a Collins glass. You can serve it in a hurricane glass, 
A sling glass would be appropriate. I think the Collins glass is really nice. I've got one chilling. Into the shaking tin. Let's start with the gin. One and a half ounces of gin. Three quarters of an ounce of cherry hearing. Quarter of an ounce of Benedictine. Quarter of an ounce of triple sec. That's a lot of quarter ounces. We're gonna do another quarter ounce of grenadine. Then I'm gonna do one ounce of pineapple juice. I believe Raffles calls for four ounces of pineapple juice, but I like to tone the pineapple down a little bit. So just one ounce of the pineapple juice. Three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. And one dash of Angostura bitters. Now we can add ice and shake. About 10 seconds. Get your glassware and double strain right into the glass. For the garnish, it's really up to you. I'm gonna do a slice of pineapple, a pineapple frond, and an umbrella. There it is. My version of the Raffles Singapore Sling. Cheers. That's really good. It's really soft. I like that it's not pineapple up front. I've had some Singapore slings where there's a lot more pineapple juice and it feels like something's going on with this pineapple juice. Whereas this one, the pineapple is kind of more in the background. I get the cherry, I get the gin, a touch of Benedictine, a little spice, light, bright, refreshing. Let's move on and make the other version of the Singapore sling. For my Singapore sling 2.0, we're gonna want gin, cherry liqueur, Benedictine, lime juice, Angostura bitters, and soda water. Quite different. This recipe doesn't have the fruit juices and the syrups that the other one does, but it does have the same liqueurs and I bump up the ratios because I think those are the really important flavors here. I am using a different gin for this. This is the black powder tanglin gin. It's a navy strength, so it's 58% alcohol. And the reason why I chose this is because it's gonna really hold up in the drink. I'm gonna have more cherry liqueur and more Benedictine, which are big, rich flavors. And so I want a navy strength gin that's gonna cut right through it. This one in particular has a spicy finish, like a peppery spicy finish that I think is really gonna balance this out. Let's build again. The ratios here are very easy, all equal parts. One ounce of gin, one ounce of cherry liqueur, one ounce of Benedictine, one ounce of lime juice, and one dash of Angostura bitters. Now we add ice and shake. Grab a Collins glass, drop in some ice, give it a little soda first just to help mix it in and then we can pour the cocktail. Top it with soda water. This one probably comes to about an ounce of soda water too. So many equal parts. For a garnish, again, whatever you want. I'm gonna do a lime, another pineapple frond, a cherry, Singapore sling, simplified, 2.0. Cheers. Ooh. Ooh, really nice pepper from the gin. Big fan of that one. You get these herbal components that you don't get so much in the first one. The Benedictine and the cherry liqueur really give it a richness. And then it's cut with this almost black pepper. Really, really nice. The 2.0, the Simple Sling. If you are a classic cocktail lover, then I think you're gonna like this drink. I love tasting all the different liqueurs. Equally refreshing. This is closer to a straight sling. They're just slightly different. Depends on your taste. I say, Try both of these. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Cheers.